Right, so welcome to the evolution of Rugby League games, starting with 1992, E.T.'s Rugby League. The player endorsed is Andrew Eddinghausen, and it was mainly a computer game that could have been done on a web browser. It's the first Rugby League game ever made back 22 years ago, and yeah, have a look at all that. You got a map of the field where all players are, and actually it would have been pretty decent back in those days, but... You know, still, if it was today, I would probably like to play it for the retrospective, but moving on, EA Sports, yep, EA Sports made a rugby league game, if you didn't know, they made two of them, this is the first one back in 1995, it was succeeded because of, uh, apparently because of Rugby World Cup 1995. So they just made another game. Well, it was actually two different companies. One of them had the game engine and they put the league rules in this. So it had like coin toss, had teams from Australia and England, and their players offside there. Anyways, this is a good move. He's showing the ball, he's running backwards, and he's through. You know, fullback, watch this, fullback's going to come in, cover defence. I actually would have loved to play this game, actually. Not sure how many people still have a copy. Well, it's for... Well, after a try, there's a cut scene that just has a scoreboard saying try. They're running back to their conversion. It's actually for... It was only for the Sega Mega Cube. Or Sega Hard Drive, I think it's called. Same with EA96, so... I've never heard of that until, like... I first found out about this game. You know, I'm... Here you go, the next one is ARL Rugby League 96, came out the next year by EA Sports. And you got pretty decent for coins and all that. Actually, there is a good thing about this game. You actually have uh, Paul Vorton out there, He's gonna he trash talks in a video in this. It's actually pretty cool, I'd like to see that included, but included like, you know, Gary Larson there, and they still... There's no cutscene in this video that I saw compared to 95, but this one does look better than 95. You know, flags go up. What I think we'll do is, half time, you can be Orange Boy, and we never want to see you again, alright? Bathroom. It's a classic fatty. Yeah, and uh, I, think, I think, yeah, that's good. Like, fatty being coach of Queensland, tra trash talking like that, it'd actually be pretty good. Like, I don't know, future Rugby League games must take note about this. Probably won't happen with, like, the big video up there. And just to end... If I was you, I would never, ever play again. Yeah, pretty much. So this was the breaking point for True Blue Games. And she... That's their first Rugby League game they developed, and this is probably the one that I liked the best. Alright, I actually remember getting this game for my birthday or something, Christmas. I don't know, it was a long time ago. Like, first came out, I saw it in a game store and I said I wanted it. So, I got it, I got it on one of those days, I don't know which one though. Well anyways, uh, you got, it was good goal kicking and all that, like, it was pretty good, like, big hits, crunching hits, you got players coming off injured. You know, spear tackles, high tackles. Not much you see in today's rugby league games. You know, bone crunching, two man tackles, and. Yeah, but. Rugby League 2, another title I had fun with. Uh, I think this one, the, the gameplay of all this is actually a modded version, but it's still the same graphics nonetheless. You see, there's a high kick going up, coming down. You still got all the long passing. Yeah, it is a yeah. This is modded, so I couldn't find actual good gameplay of it. All I could find was mods. So pretty much, this game was really fun for me to play. It was also succeeded by a World Cup edition. Our rugby challenge was made for the PSP, so portable device, and for a PSP game. It actually didn't look bad. I actually did read somewhere that this game is nominated, was nominated for 
for actually for actually some awards as well. Like there's a bit of it's a bit fro it throws a little bit there. Then there's first tackle, you're getting up playing the ball. And, you know, you you're getting passes out everywhere. Like you're you're throwing the ball everywhere, there's turnover. Oh, it throws for the turnover. Sean Long's running. You know, you see him getting up. They don't show the roll ball, but still it's very good. Looks very good. You know, I've never played this game either. And, you know, yeah, those look decent. I should probably invest in the iOS game for Rugby League Live too. So pretty much Leon Price through a whole... Oh, I remember Leon Price. So a winger unmarked in the corner, being Francis Melly. That's a try in the corner. Sean Long will take the conversion kick. And uh, the next title we have also came out in 2009. It's a. Uh, it was also a. It was also for. It was for Nintendo DS. And not really too much a rugby league game. That one is NRL Mascot Mania in 2009. Now, here's some gameplay of it. Now, you pretty much choose your mascot there. So, I would go with Victor. The Portal. Go Raiders Village. Ah, but they won't listen to me. But no, it does look... This game also does look very good, too. So, pretty much you destroy Tigers or something. You're in, like, Dragon's Lair. And you're even, yeah, you're even, uh, come on, Gallon. Got a punch back. So you got mini games and all. I've never played this game either. But after looking at this, yeah, it is looking good. Now there is a bit of rugby league in that, so I'm not sure what's going on there. Like, do you play it or do you not? I reckon you do. And yeah, rugby league three. Came out for the Nintendo Wii only. That's the whole. That's probably the only reason why I bought one. And also because my Xbox broke like before that game came out, so I think it was my luck. But nah. But nah, that game was really good. Like, bit some awkward moments. Like I shown Simon Mannering getting raped, but this game. Very fun on indoor. He just got ragdolled there. That hit. Bone crunching. You got replays and everything. And that was actually the last game she, uh, she'd made with uh, the Rugby League franchise. So the Rugby League Live started with True Blue and Big Ant selling the rights. And, you know, I'm not going to talk much about this game. All I can say is, um, after everything I've heard, everything I've read about this game... You know, I'm probably actually glad I didn't play it, to be honest. So, that's pretty much it. I heard that this game really sucked. Alright, that's all I'm going to say about it. I'll just show you the rest of the trailer. Here we go, Rugby League Live 2 came out in 2012, I think. I don't know, it was a couple of years ago. So this game is the most recent, and the, and I have lots of videos of that on my channel. So, But I'm not showing any of my gameplay, I'm showing you the trailer. And the dynamic tackling system. You know, this game was good, but everyone knows that interceptions were a huge, huge problem in this. And also the lack of rules, no spear tackles like you had the, in the first one. You had a career mode going, contestant high ball going. You know, I loved this game. I loved this game. You know, I still play it, not as much nowadays. But yeah, the player customization was absolutely brilliant. And Dave Taylor stepping, JT scoring. 
that you got Benji running in slow motion. You didn't have any of these type of replays in the actual game. That's a disappointment. Except you did have the celebrations and all that. But no, no highlight reel. Now with Don Bradman Cricket 14, I can only hope that the next game is just going to be it's just going to be beast. Like, to be honest, that's what I'm hoping. Anything less than beast, I would probably be okay with. But, you know, it's rugby league games and I love rugby league. So, yeah, I'll see you next time.